I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a question on new SAT format. Solve the equation 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. You need to solve this without calculator. You can pause the video, answer the question and look into my suggestion. Now we are given four terms. You can factor and then solve it. Let's see how. So we have 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus x minus 3 equals to 0. If you take 2x common, 2x squared common from the first two terms, you get x minus 3 and you have x minus 3 as the last two terms. Now you can take x minus 3 common, right? And you get 2x squared plus 1. Now the solution is these factors could be 0. So first solution is when x minus 3 equals to 0, that gives you x equals to 3. And the other solution will be when you have 2x squared plus 1 equals to 0. Now that gives you 2x squared equals to minus 1. That's a negative value. Now if the set is when you say x belongs to real numbers, then there is no solution in this case, right? No solution. And in that case, our answer will be um, x equals to 3. However, let me make a change here, right? Now, for some tests, especially in the new SAT format, you may be working with complex numbers. So let me use another thing. If we have this, that this equation is when x belongs to complex numbers, in that case, we'll have solution for 2x plus 1 equals to 0 also, right? So we'll get x squared equals to minus 1 over 2. x is the square root of minus half. Now, square root of minus 1 is iota, right? So it is, it is plus minus whenever we do square root. So we get plus minus i square root of half, right? So, so that will be that will add two more solutions. So cubic equation will basically have three solutions if we are considering complex numbers in this particular case, right? Now at times, if there's a multiple choice question, you may write this answer in a different way. That is, you may write to rationalize it. Let me show you that also. That is to say, we got plus minus i, it is one over square root two. You can multiply and divide by square root two. Right. In that case, you get plus minus i, and that becomes 2, right? So square root 2 over 2, correct? So let me write down the answers now. So the answers now will be 3, one real answer, and 2 complex, which is 2, square root right i, square root 2 over 2, right? So these are the three solutions for the given polynomial equation if the domain is complex numbers, right? Remember that. If the domain is real numbers, then we have only one solution, which is x equals to three. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. Thank you and all the best.